Hey everybody, I'm back. I am doing book three of the Drake Sense Sprinkle with Love series. Um, it's Delicious Destiny by Yara St. John. Now, if you read me, did my last video, which was um, Delectable Desires, you would know that book three actually took place near the end of book two, and you could foreshadow and see what's going on from book three. Now, I truly enjoyed this one. I truly think this, because there's actually six books in the series. Um, the third, this one so far, Red Cappuccino Kisses, you'll get a review on that probably in the next few weeks to a month from now. I definitely would do a review on that. But so far, I think this is definitely one of my favorite um, series. Let me pop some more lip gloss on y'all. I'm sorry. There we go. Um, I think this is definitely one of my was definitely my favorite book in this series, um, especially with someone you're dealing with um, ch fathers not being their children's life unknowingly, um, rumors like malicious lies, things like that. And I think Yara St. John did an excellent job with this one as well too. Now let's talk about the story. Um, Grant Robinson and Sherry Drayson were one-time lovers. They, uh, basically had sex in high, I mean, not high school, I'm sorry, <clears throat> college, you know. Grant did feel something for her, but, um, I guess by listening to her best friend and dealing with the lies that Dina was, um, saying, you know, she was just like, you know what, it was a one-time hookup. Thank you for cracking my, um, being my first and keep it moving. And Grant was just like, what the f And he just got, she just got hit him with one of those. Um, a few weeks later, she found out she was pregnant, and she didn't tell him and just kept it pushing. Now, she said it was another guy that got her pregnant because ultimately they thought she was in a relationship with her. Child, come to find out that man was gay. But that's another story in itself. Um, let's fast forward a few years later that Grant sees her cousin Carter in um, New York. So... As they're talking about the restaurant, if you guys read books too, you understand the conversation I'm talking about. Man, when I tell you Grant was pissed, Grant was hot. And every right so, because, you know, you kept me from my child for the first four years of his life. I'm going to be there now. So he comes to Chicago and tells Sherry, oh, you ain't keeping me from my child right now. We're about to be married because this child is going to both have a mother and father in the home. Of course, Sherry is like, excuse you, like, at first. And then, of course, during that time, you know how it goes. They have to build their relationship back up. The sexual feelings and the feelings come back up. Meanwhile, um, the other dresses are getting ready for the cooking competition um, against um, Dina's um, bakery, who happened to be, used to be Sherry's best friend and um, now became her enemy rival. So that's going on as well, too. I enjoyed this book because... It definitely talks about miscommunication, dealing with people who lies, dealing with haters, things like that. Um, and also, I also like the series because it deals with family, um, wealthy black families as well, too. You know, um, everybody, you know, family coming together and things like that. So I definitely enjoyed this book. Um, this just definitely was good. Um, if you haven't read my Decadent Dreams, I mean, seen my Decadent Dreams review, I will put in the link bar below. And my Delectable Desires review, I'll put in the link bar below as well, too. Um, like I said soon, I will be doing a review on Cappuccino Kisses. Yara St. John actually wrote that one as well, too. So I'm excited about that one as well. And I'm going to, like I said, I can't wait to review it. And I guys, guys, hope you enjoyed this video as well, too. Anyway, thank you guys for looking at Books, Beauty, and Stuff. Thank you guys for looking at this video, too. Also, um, if you like that comment, press thumbs up, um, share it, you know, with everybody. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.